What's up with that guy over there? Alright, so we're looking for shiny bits on the ground. We saw one up here at the very beginning. Is it going to have the same thing? I think it had three loaves of bread. Let's see if there's anything else, though. A oh, booster shoots. We see. I don't know how far off we'll be able to spot these things. Nope. Oh. Sure, we can fight you. Bartender and a rough. Come on, mighty, let's go. I was wondering why my uh, MP was so low, but it's because I had to cast the heal spell and the uh, uh, healing spell. Or the healing spell and the spirit medium spell. My bad. More pie. Oh, there's something over there. Let's check that out. If I ever need to do some grinding, I'll probably do it off stream. And I just won't progress any story or anything like that. We can do this. I don't know. I honestly don't know if I will have to or not. Wow, you just murdered them. That's right there. Uh, plain tour flower. That's one. Oh, there's something over there on the other side. Can I cross here? I can. Ah, some more, some spring water. Well. So we need one and one. Now, one more of each. Me alone. Come on. Here goes. go mighty. Hmm. Not seeing any more shinies. And oh, nice. Wow, that was seven. No, <laughs> that orb looked bigger, but it only gave me one. Rude. Oh, I think I only need one. One filled up. That's why. Anything down there? No. Not seeing anything shiny over that way. I would like faster movement speed up here. So I wonder how long it does take stuff to respawn in the overworld. Ouroboros. We can do this. I like how it's supposed to be like a snake biting its own tail, but that's clearly a lizard. I think Ouroboros is a snake biting its own cell, right? Or, well, eating itself, but... A sign for infinity, I believe? There's something. Uh, I think I have to go around, though. Hmm. 
Is this spring water? It is! That's two spring waters. So now we just need another one more plant which might be up there. No, get out of here. Let's do it! Let's do it! Just murder these guys. We did it! <laughs> Yeah, that's all we need. Two and two. Oliver, you need to learn how to run. Now, hang on a second. Uh, the compendium. We got an area, a region thing, right? Up here. So what's it? Ding Dong Dell. What are those keys? So we're right now in front of Ding Dong Dell. I'm going to try going outside and going immediately to the uh, east. It's somewhere over here. Get out of here, bird. I want to fight you. I want to investigate this little keyhole thing, if I can. Watch this! We've won! It's like no experience now. So, like, where is it exactly? Do I have any other type of hint? Will I get an exclamation marker? Will it show me something? Regions. Nope, not that one. I want this one. So, what does it show? Oh, it shows it down by the beach. Oh. So, more like over here. Oh, I found something. Two slices of pie. Okay. So those are going to be annoying to find. I imagine that's what I just got. Was right there. So if we go just south of the bones, or just to the west of it, let's see if we can't find something else. This is the last two we will do for right now. I don't want to... Uh, unfortunately, it's going to be have something I'm do all at once. Or else I just, I'll just forget which ones I've done. But just try, trying to guesswork where they're actually at is a little bit annoying, especially when I'm moving around so slowly. So the bones are way up there. Oh, don't get away from me, bird. Oh, I think I didn't turn around in time. Did you get a surprise attack on me? Let's do it. No. Knock that off. Oh, but it's a... Uh, okay, so blue looks like... If it's blue, that means it's, I'm strong against it, I guess. If it's red, that means it's critical. Or it's a... Uh, I'm weak to it. Oh god, which bones? Well, one was like right over here, wasn't it? Like I said, we'll just grab... We'll try to look for one of these two real quick, and then we'll move on. So one's, yeah, in the dip, right there, next to Ding Dong Dell. The Rolling Hills, okay. So where would that be, exactly? I feel like it's up, up above here. It's like, over here. Get out of here. And there's and nothing there. Ooh, a wooden sword! Can you equip that? 
Sure if you can. Plus three to attack. Nice. Nothing fancy, but hey, it's a thing. And if I had a guess... Ah. Come on. Here so now you should do, you're going to do even more damage. And a level up. But I guess it's actually just south of this one. Oh, hey, that shiny's back. Mm. Oh well. Let's go back to town. I'll find that one later. I don't want to stay here Let's looking go. for him too long. Come on, don't miss. And don't put me to sleep. Rude. We did it. Should probably attack the sleep the sleepy fell next first time next time. Uh let's go ahead and grab this since it's here. So does that always have boost to shoot in? Was the first time just for my usefulness? Or maybe it gave me booster shoots the first time and I just wasn't paying attention. Anyways. What are we supposed to be heading now? Ooh. Oh, sorry, you're supposed to be going to try to see the king. But we also need to go turn in this quest. Yeah, oh my, you found it all, all already. Yes, ma'am, these are the things you were looking for. Oh yes, perfect, just perfect. I'm ever so grateful, my dear. Here, a little present to say thank you. A wooden shield and 50 guilders. Nice! Oop, I just kind of loot through that real quick. Alright, let's equip that shield. Plus three to defense. Uh, can I rename these? Probably not there. And give treats. Hmm. I guess that would be a. Uh... Oh, now that I'm affiliate, actually, I should be getting channel points. Or you should be getting channel points. Uh, I'll have to look into those to see exactly what I want. But I do need to take suggestions for different things to uh, put on there. I know for sure I'm gonna have like a uh, shut me up type one where I will not talk or I'll, I'll turn off the camera and not talk for a set amount of time. Haven't decided yet. Maybe maybe five maybe five minutes. That'll be one reward. Another one might be if I can like name stuff. I might have a uh, a name character command where you can spend that to name a character. Uh, hopefully I can change names in this game because I can change names and that would work really well. Welcome, Ding Dong Dell. This is a road that leads to the Royal Palace. You are travelers, I take it? You must be in these in those clothes? Yes, we come to see the king. Ah, you're after an audience with King Tom, are you? Well, I'll be more than happy to let you through, but I'm afraid it's just not possible at the moment. Huh? But why? One of the king's hapless aides has allowed his Meowjice's beloved pet fish to escape into the palace moat. The red herring is the king's pride and joy, and a highly endangered species of boot. I doubt his Meowjice would be able to replace this one if we were to lose it. What that aid of his was thinking, I don't know. Anyway, to cut a long story short, everyone in the castle is busy looking for the king's red herring. Are we are you being sent on a red what? At the moment, <laughs> I'd advise you to come back another day. Um, alright, what are we going to do, Miss Drippy? Palace Moat is it? Hmm, if I'm not mistaken, that moat's connected to some of the rivers that run through town. You think you can have a swarm all the way to town? I reckon it's possible, yeah. Why don't we have a look in the few ponds and that, in just in case can't do any harm, can it? I'm sure you sure can't. Gee, I hope we find that red herring, Miss Drippy. Me too, Ollie boy. Where then? Let's go fishing. Well, there was a fishing pond I could jump on the uh, poles for. What are the chances that that's where I need to go? On a side note, what, what's that statue? 
there to the right. I don't. I couldn't interact with it. Hmm. This place to take to me is looking awfully familiar. Man, here I was thinking I found a secret. Look, Ollie boy, see that red thing over by over by there? Uh. No. Where can I found our fishy friend? Better go and take a close look, though. Just make sure it ain't M me. Why do I have to go over there? Well, who else is going to do it? Freddy the fish, Spectre? Come on, just hop on the rickety looking bits when you'll be fine. Ah, oh, gee, all right. I guess I'll try. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, that guy over there. And swim away. Ah, ah. Nickers, he got away. So, sorry. He's a lively one, right? I think he went off towards the palace, all the boy, after him. Whee. That's some impressive jumping, by the way. Alright. Now we'll... I'm trying to think. Is this where we no, this is over to the uh stone. Oh no, the uh the locked door was uh, the opposite way completely. Oh, poor guy. We're just gonna carry it? But, but it needs to be a water guy. 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 So it's the king's favorite fish, huh? Tidy, that's a red herring if I ever saw one. Now we can get ourselves an audience with the king. Let's head back and see the palace guard, shall we? Are we just gonna... Uh, no bucket... No... Mm. Oh my god. You're gonna kill the fish. All right, here's the red herring. You again? I'm afraid you still haven't located King Tom's pet. This one, you mean? You can deliver King's fish back to him, sir. Is that goodness? I know that the regal Scarlet Tones that King's beloved red herring anywhere. Well, I'll be. I reckon you must have swum out through the sewers in the town. Like that's so. Must let the other guards know right away. If I remember rightly, you were. That's right. We need to see the king. Yes, of course. But with him in his current state, what's that? Something up is there? You could say that. Did I mention the person charged with caring for the king's red herring just let it escape? Everyone in the palace has grown terribly lax of late, so lax that we need to enlist the help of passing travelers, as you know only too well. Probably shouldn't be telling you this, but the king himself has been indolence personified, and it seems to be rubbing off on his subjects. Indolence? Is that, like, laziness? I'm afraid so. Well, perhaps being reunited with his beloved, beloved red herring will give him the boost he needs. In you go. Tidy, we're off to see the king. Come on, Ollie boy. Cutscene. A pleasure to meet you, you are me, Algesty. So it was you who delivered one's treasure back to one, hmm? That's right. I yes, you are me, Algesty. Mm. And you wish for a prize, hmm? Um... Go on, man. Ask him. Uh... Come now, don't be shy. Well, you are me, Algesty. Out with it now! <laughs> we need your wand! Uh, uh, one's wand. Mm, uh, uh, huh? What did you say? <sighs> Jeez, guy. <laughs> okay, yes. Uh, what were you. I was going to ask. What could it be? That's right, you are the Algisty. He's not from our world. He's the one whose power freed me from my prison. What? You mean he broke his spell? Hmm. This little boy? Yes. Do you understand what you're saying, Fairy? Once you that. defy him, there's no turning back. Hmm. I know, I know, I know, but... But what precisely? Well, you know, he might be able to... Hmm. Hmm. It's not one's concern. You may not have the wand. Now be gone. What? Does that mean no wand, Mr. Droopy? Looks like it. 
So how do we get the wand now? Something wasn't quite right about our royal friend. Broken hearted he is, or I'm broken headed. The I mean, is? or a bit of both. Lacking enthusiasm, it looked like. And because he's broken hearted, the whole kingdom's being dragged down with him. What do we uh, The guards Is don't the have cat ears, at least not all of them. Blimey, you don't need much encouragement, do you? I'll talk a little bit after this uh, dialogue bit. The guard inside the town was short on enthusiasm, too, huh? Indeed, he was, Ollie Boy. Like I say, I reckon the king's broken heartedness is dragging everyone else down with him. The other guard had gave us some of his enthusiasm to help his friend. We should go ask him for some more. No, 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 Mon. Don't go doing that. There's a very important rule about borrowing pieces of people's hearts. There is? What is that? Well, you can't go taking the same piece of heart from this same person twice, see? One of those people up top is all to save to borrow. Gee, I didn't know that. Be sure to be real careful from now on. So what do we need to do, Mr. Trippy? We travel in town for someone else with that get up and go. A plenty in it. Sleepy old place, but there's bound to be someone new somewhere. The only problem is, where? Ding Dong Dell is not exactly a village size, after all. You might even say it's a proper massive. I guess it kind of is, huh? It's something of, of a quandary, are we? The Telling Stone, that is. Flipping heck, Mon. Hi, Mr. Telling Stone. You seem perplexed, my young friends. Thought you might benefit from a dose of my expansive knowledge. Thanks, it's real nice of you. You see, we need to borrow a piece of someone's heart, but we don't know how to find one. Hmm, elementary, my dear Oliver. In times like these, just look to your locket. Huh? How do, how do you mean? Well, not only can it carry pieces of heart, the locket is also extremely sensitive to the pro proximity. It'll glow when they're nearby. Tidy, so we can use it to track down some enthusiasm and end it. Let me tell you a little bit more about the locket. You see this habit glowing brightly from time to time? This is how it reacts to the presence of those who possess one of the heart's virtues in abundance. Incidentally, with the, those with pieces of heart despair, I will also glow verdant green on the mini-map in the top right of your screen. Neato. It will not serve to tell you which of the virtues the subject has in excess, but it would still prove exceedingly useful to you nonetheless. I just know it will. Now, Sally Forts and seek you your heart, your piece of heart, young adventurer. Oh, we linked now? Thank you so much, Miss Tellingstone. Uh, the helmet, not real ears, don't know what is more disturbing to me, the talking potato or talking stone. Ah, yes, I'm going to ca call him talking potato. That's that's Mr. Drippy, Lord High Lord of the Fairies. Right, Ollie boy, let's have a look around for someone to drop enthusiasm to spare, then, shall we? If your luck, it glows up all of a sudden, we know we're on the right track. Got it. Got it. Let's go, Miss Trippy. If you see, if you've seen movies from uh, Studio Ghibli, you'll know what kind of like creatures, what kind of animation and type of stuff you'll be looking at. Uh, much like he's a cat, they're all Grimalkins or cat people. So that's a whole another race inside this game. I don't know what all kind of races there are, but uh, get ready for the puns. Hence the uh, the boutique run by the owl. The Coster, run by the, uh, the Raven. Uh, Swift, the Swift thing I don't really know how to do. I want my map, that's what I was trying to figure out. Can I see other places? I bet you I know another one. Can you see right there in the desert, in the middle? All my, my moon. Uh, I don't know if there's wolves, but I'll give you one guess at, at what's there. I don't know if there's any good puns right off the bat that I know of. That's that's about it for right now. Where are the red stars? Unfortunately. Oh wait, it disappeared. So I can't see the red. The red star doesn't stay up. I'm curious what that is. Ah, uh, my moon. All right, what am I doing? Uh, enthusiasm, right? No one with a green glow here. Hmm. Will they only show up on the mini map then? Maybe.
think it's like, where, where are you sending me? Up here? Can I buy anything from you yet? Cut his razor friend, but I'm not allowed at all. Look, Mr. Trippy, the locket, it's glowing. Tidy, that then there's someone around here by the piece of a uh, heart to spare, ain't it? You are, you are, fo I'll say, uh, Jaeger, you're focusing on the wrong part of the word. If you're adding the end to the end of that. The only person around here is him. And look at him, Mon. He can barely stand still. He's so eager. Jackpot. You really think he has some enthusiasm to spare? That I do, my lad. I bet my lantern on it. Could that lantern come off? Or is that like an accessory? Let's go and get it, shall we? And if it's an accessory, why do you have a lantern hanging off your nose? And there's my locket glowing. Howdy. How do, saucepan head? Don't suppose you fancy doing us a favor, do you? Hey, stop distracting me. I'm busy. Busy? Uh, what are you busy doing exactly? Protecting down from the mice, of course. Mice? Oh, yeah. Oh, so this is the one that was up in the area, looking for something to beat the mice with. I remember hearing about the mice who lived in Ding Dong Dell. All I think of is Alma, soul in Spanish. Hmm, okay. I'm not getting the pun, and it's... Ner it's Nerve-wracking? Oh, it not getting the pun of what it is? You don't get the Alma Moon? But the grown-ups are too lazy to do anything about it. Most of them hardly notice when the mice steal things. And the ones that don't... The ones that do don't seem to care. Well, Tommy Stout is going to take a stand for it. I know the mice all live down here in the well, so I'm standing guard here. Any mouse that comes this way is in for a battery. Yeah, cow. <laughs> Well, well, we'll write about this one. He's bursting with enthusiasm. Over to you, Ollie boy. What are you talking about? Though it'll be, it might, it's going to be a long time before we get there, I think, so. King Tom's to be really short on enthusiasm right now. And that's where you come in, Tommy boy. You got loads of stuff. If we gave him to King Tom, the whole town would sort itself out quick sharp. So, I know there's a, a language barrier with what, uh, anim what animal sounds are. What, what's Spanish for the, uh, for moo? Or y'all say moo as well? So we were wondering if you could share some of your enthusiasm with us. Of course I do anything to help the king. Thanks, Tommy. So, take part. Immu you. Yeah, right. They, they, they all sound similar, but it's it said differently. Like, uh... Meow and uh, Nyan for... Japanese, or Nyan is Japanese. The verb is musier. Uh, that was strange. Uh, well, now I know what magic feels like. Strange? What do you mean? No wizarding types ain't used to spells, see, Ollie boy. They don't know what type to make of them half the time. Does this mean King Tom's going to be all right now, Oliver? Yes, and once the king's back to normal, everyone else will start feeling better, too. That's right, Mon. Your enthusiasm is going to put a spring in everyone's step, ain't it? That's great to hear. Until then, though, better stay here and keep an eye out for mice. All right, see you later, Tommy. <laughs> Mew, ch Mew choke er. <laughs> I actually took Spanish. Well, <laughs> I took Spanish in high school, but you're talking over like 12 years ago. Don't know how to explain Spanish, Jay, in either way. I wish I could remember. A E I O U. Oh, I'm out of coffee. Dang it. No hablo espanol. That's all I need to know how to say. Hmm, you again. One is becoming rather tired of these constant interruptions. So, sorry, your meow, meow just -y. It's just we have something for you. Yeah, we picked it out especially for you, cat face. It'll get you rid of that tiredness of yours in no time. Give it a new lease on life, it will. Strong teeth, glossy fur. 
Uh, I'm not sure that's... Meow. That sounds just a ticket. These accursed fatigue will be the death of one. Being with all these visitors taking its toll. Not to worry, your meow just A little bit of enthusiasm is all you need, ain't it? Get part. Do you think it works? Let's see, shall we? Hmm. What the devil was one up to? Yo, Meow Justy, please tell us you're back to your old self. Yeah? Why, one is ten times more energetic than one has ever been. But one feels <laughs> different somehow. This is your doing, is it not? Then you must be rewarded. Your Meow Justy, it seems that these brave adventurers have lifted the curse that was placed upon you. Uh, what? Is this true? <laughs> yes, Your Meow Justy. It appears that you were cursed with a lack of enthusiasm. Hmm, is that so? One certainly didn't feel oneself for a while there. It seems one is in your debt. What would you claim as your prize? Hmm? Tidy, you know what to ask for, ain't it, Ollie boy? Uh, sure, we uh, we need a magic wand, you're meowing to see. Meow, is that so? Strangely, one feels as if one has had this conversation before. No one thinks of it. There is one one prized very highly as a kitten, hidden away safely in one's bedchamber. There is, eh? And? And one would be willing to part with it, but we'll have to find it first. Return later on, which I'll present it to you. Jeepers, thank you very much, you're meowing to see. So, boy, if you are in search of a wand, can one take it? That you are perhaps a wizard? Indeed, he is your mouth. You see, a shiny new apprentice wizard who doesn't exactly know much magic yet. <laughs> hmm, is that so? Then let one provide you with a spell or two. One's wand will be of little use without spells to cast, after all. Really? You're, you're meow, Justy. That's so kind of you. Thank you very much. Uh, going to do some sport. I'll leave the tab open and lurk. Have fun. I think it would fit right in with that bloody punt, huh? That'd be impossible not to resist. <laughs> All right, Jaeger. Have fun at your sports. You received a page describing spring lock. Ooh. You received a page describing rejuvenate. Meow. Ho, ho, ho. You must enjoy the spells that inspired one so much in one's younger days. One that unlocks things and one that restores things to their former glory, eh? But you used to get up with these, your mad meow, justy. Meow, none of your business, fairy. Now, boy, you travel with a familiar, do you not? When I sent word of the... Calder Master store down in the town that you were to be given permission to shop there. The Calder Master store? What kind of place is that, your, your meow, Justy? Meow, you are sure you are an adventurer? One cannot help but fear for the safety of such an innocent. No matter, the Calder Master store prov provides weapons and equipment for the use of familiars. Why not go and browse the products on your offer while one seeks out one's wand? Hmm? Be sure will, your meow, Justy. Thank you very much. Now, one has plenty to attend to. Come and present yourself to one again in a short while. Ooh. I'm rolling the R's too hard for a purr. Was that... I was hoping more of this was voice acted. I didn't think I would have to read this much in this game. But it is what it is. So let's go take to the Cotter Master. Oh, it's you. His meow just informed me that you would be coming. He instructed me to sell you whatever you acquire, and I'm more than happy to cooperate. So, have a rook, rook around, and I'm sure you'll find somewhere with, with which to equip your familiars. Equip my familiars? How do you mean, sir? Ah, it seems ex explanation is ordered. Very well, then. Here, crows nothing. To ensure your familiars don't get cut short, you can give them a boost by equipping them with certain items. I don't want a crow, but you'll find plenty of items your familiars can equip among my wares. There are three types. Weapons, armor, and accessories. Just remember that items a familiar can equip vary according to its genius. It's not complicated, so don't get into a flap. The best way to learn is to just try equipping your familiar. But don't feel left out, will you? Humans can, of course, equip items too. 
Select friends and familiars, press X to change items you have equipped. Aw, why not buy a nice matching set of items for you and your familiars? Birds and feathers stick together, after all. Oh, uh, okay. As soon as I have some money, I'll start buying some accessories and stuff. Selling this old bird has done proper sales numbers, telling you, Ollie boy. Just remember that accessories ain't the only thing you can equip. Wizards like you can also sorts, uh, have use all sorts of wands as well. Flip the heck, mon. Speaking of wands, we need to go and get your new wand from the King Tom, ain't it? Clean forgotten I had. Yeah, I guess he's probably found it by now. I reckon so, Ollie boy. Come on, let's head for the palace. Well, give me a chance to even buy some stuff. Uh, I don't know why I went there. Customer, I don't mean a crow, but our wares are the finest in the land. Alright, I already have a wooden sword. Ooh, that's a tw that's twice as strong. That increases magic, as well as, I guess, accuracy, if I had to guess? I don't think it means it's ranged. His attack would go down, but his magic would go up. I could buy this. And an animal horn, huh? What do you got for defense? No one can equip any of this stuff, and you already have that equipped. And a giant's tooth. I don't think there's much reason to get a plus one. I kind of do want to get the better sword. Eh, why not? Alright. And I think that gave me the option to equip it automatically, and I didn't do it. So there we go. We'll hold on to the other sword for right now. Though I don't, I don't know if there'll be a reason for it. But we have it. Alright, give me just a second. I'll be right back. I gotta use the restroom. And we're back. Okay. So, let's see. I think let's head back to the uh, his Meowjesty and see about getting that new wand. Wasn't too much we can buy there. Honestly, I probably didn't even need to get the sword. The music in here is pretty enjoyable, too. Not special, but just nice enough. Uh, what's going on? What's up? I'm the king now. Oh, dude, thank goodness. You have to help us. Something terrible has happened. Let me, Hakuman. Don't tell me the old King Tom's gone and got his heart broken again. No, no, his Meowjesty's heart is a good working order, as far as I know. As far as you know. After he sorted Meowjesty's missing enthusiasm, he was determined to find his old wand so that he could give it to you by way of reward. So determined, in fact, that he said he would go and look for it himself. Well, that's good, ain't it? What's all this fuss about? His Meowjesty has disappeared. Eh? Gatekeeper swear he hasn't left Ding Dong down yet, he's nowhere to be found. I smell a rat by here, Ollie boy. I suppose there's only one thing for it, ain't it? Oh, uh, what's that, Mr. Drippy? Spot him investigating, ain't it? Righto. Helmet face. You and your mates keep an eye on the castle. We're going to look for clues. Er, yes, understood. Where are we looking, Mr. Drippy? Don't worry, Ollie boy. You know the place. You know it very well, in fact. Come on. I'll tell you more when we're outside. Okay. Where are we going, Mr. Drippy? What's this about somewhere I know real well? Where do you think, clever logs? Motorville, ain't it? Motorville? But what does Motorville have to do with finding the king? Well, their answer isn't always going to be over, over by here, Ollie boy. <clears throat> what does that mean? You gotta remember the whole soulmate thing, ain't it? What we see here in this world ain't always the whole picture. Soulmates, okay. Think about it, Ollie boy. Why are you here in our world, ain't Oh, to save my mom. Exactly. And your mom is the great sage Alicia, soulmate, right? And we're trying to free Alicia from the soul snare over by her. So we can help your mom back over by there, ain't it? Well, that's what you told me, Mr. Drippy. 
and I wasn't fibbing, so people in your world and my world are connected, not just Alicia and your mom, all people. They are? So, exactly. That's clever of you. There's someone over in your world who's connected to King Tom over by here. And when someone in our world is in a potch, you can sometimes find out how to help them when they're soulmate over in your world. Because they're connected, see? Obvious when you think about it, ain't it? So somebody in my world is King Tom's soulmate, huh? That's right, but maybe not a person, and maybe not in such a lofty position as our friend the Cat King. Huh? Well, Shopkeeper's Caps and King of Ding Dong Dell ain't exactly similar status-wise, is it? Shopkeeper's Cat? I don't think I... Uh... Flippin' heck, mon. It's like pulling teeth. Okay, so the soulmate can look and even act the same, right? We've covered that already. So when you first saw King Tom, you instantly thought to yourself, Hello, hello. He's a spinning image of Timmy the Cat, isn't he? I did? Oh, so you mean the king that King Tom is? King Tom and Timmy Toldrum are, but Miss Layla's cat? There's clever of ya. Better late than never. But, but, Timmy's just a cat. Exactly. Just like our pal, King Tom. So what's so strange about that? Crikey, you're not very perceptive for a youngster, are you? If two people are soulmates, there'll be similarities somewhere. You just gotta keep an open mind and a peeled eye. It's about the similarities and find the soulmate. Gee, I never knew. So Timmy, huh? Timmy indeed, my lad. If we can find that fat old furball, we might have to get a clue as to where King Tom's got himself to. So magic us up a gateway and let's get over to your world, shall we? You remember how, don't you? Sure do. Let's go see how everybody back in Motorville is doing. So let's make a gateway. Oh, that's not as flashy as the first time we used it. More convenient, though. Conveniently, there's a star showing us exactly where to go, but... Oh, Oliver, seeing you, I just don't know what to say, dear. It's fine, Miss Layla, I'm okay now. You are? Well, I'm pleased to hear that, honey. If there's anything I can do, just let me know, won't you? Actually, there's something you can do for me right now, Miss Layla. Can you tell me where Timmy is? Is he here in the store? Well, now you mentioned I don't think I've seen him. Timmy? Timmy? Where's my Timmy Toldrum? You must have run off somewhere, the little rascal. Probably gone exploring, huh? Oi, Ollie boy, does this little situation remind you of anything? Sure does. Just like what happened with King Tom. Bingo, we got ourselves a missing cat king in one world and a missing fat cat in another. And I reckon the reason why will be the same too. Track down Timmy and you're sure to find the vital clue that will help solve the mystery. There's Sharpia and and this here's your patch, ain't it? You know, like the back of your hand. Uh-huh. Also have the case of the missing cat in no time. I'm awfully sorry I couldn't help you, dearie. But you did help. Thanks, Miss Layla. I I did? Well, all right then. Goodbye, my now, my dear. Goodbye, Miss Layla. Right away, Wally boy. Let's start out where we you know best, shall we? Round by your house, I mean. Sure, let's go. I didn't mean to talk to you. Oh, sorry. Hmm, don't know where that came from. I'm going the long way to my house, aren't I? Hey, it's this girl. Oliver, I'm sorry, Oliver. It's you. We haven't looked in your house yet, have we, Ollie boy? I'll run over there and check now. Back in a bit. Uh, uh, sure, Miss Trippy. Sorry, Oliver, I'm sorry you're all alone. Huh? Your mummy? Y you know about that? When Mom died, I thought she'd be gone forever. I thought I would all be alone. But now, now I can help her. I just need to finish what I started. I want to ask you, the wand, the one I found, did you leave it for me? Without it, I could never have gone to the other world. Maybe you don't even know what I'm talking about, but if it hadn't been for that wand, I, I'd still be all alone. Really? Really, really? Really, really? Hooray, I hope you can save your mommy, Oliver. Thanks, but who are you? How do you know my name? I'm P. I've always known you, Oliver. Always? So your name is P, huh? Yes, I'm P. Oh, hey P. Have you seen the big old cat? His name is Timmy Toldrum. He has stripes all over and he's kind of fat. Mr. Kitty? I know Mr. Kitty. Mr. Kitty? I'll take you to Mr. Kitty, Oliver. Follow me. She must mean Timmy, right? Oi, Ollie boy, no time the old fatty in the mall in the house, I'm afraid. What are you doing standing around here by here on your own, anyway? I might just know where to find Mr. Timmy, Drippy. Or, Timmy, Mr. Drippy. <laughs> you what? How? Where? Huh? 
Please, P, could you show us? Eh, what's all this then? Are you alright, Ollie boy? So why can Mr. Drippy not see her? Why can no one else see her? And we're walking... And we're walking... Are so much faster than me. It's kind of annoying. I mean, it's great. I don't have to wait around for you, but jeez. Is this where Timmy is, P? Shh. Huh? Listen, what's that? Squeak, squeak, squeak. Uh, m mouse. And is there something through there? Is there? Timmy. Oh, boy, hey, Timmy boy, put your stuff together, man. Looks like we better take him back to Lele, ain't it, Ollie boy? You're right. Thank you so much for showing us, Pete. Uh, but she was. Where'd she go? What are you standing around for, lazy bones? Get a flipping move on. Oh, poor, poor Timmy. Is it fast this way? Uh, I don't think either way is really faster. Oh, no, farther up, right? No, I'm already up here. Book fair. Oh man, book fairs. I miss some of the books I read. Layla's Mook Bar. Miss Layla, it's Timmy. He's. Oh goodness, my Timmy Toldrum. Whatever happened to you? Oh, thank you, dear. You brought him all the way back home to mommy. Wasn't he heavy? Uh, no, not really. Is he okay? Oh, don't worry about Timmy, Oliver. It's nothing serious. He's just a little tired, aren't you, Timmy, dear? Doesn't take much to tire out a big old boy like you, does it, Snookums? Is that all? I was worried flipping sick about him. What was Timmy doing all the way down to the garage? Well, oh, dearie, one of my customers told me all about it. She said that Rusty's garage is crawling with mice. And my dear old Timmy Tom just loves to chase the little devils. Timmy loves to chase mice, but he's so fat. Thank you so much, Oliver. Dear, now I know why, why he's disappointed, or disappeared to. I can stop worrying about him. He was just getting a little exercise, weren't you, my Timmy told him. I guess I can learn a thing, learn a thing or two from you. Hmm. Too flipping right, you could. Wow. Wait. That's rude. Okay, Miss Layla. I have to go now. It's nice seeing you. And you, dearie, just let me know if there's any uh, ever anything you need now. Don't, won't you? Tidy. You've worked it out too, too I expect. And Ellie boy? I don't think so, Mr. Trippy. The king went down to the mice. Come on, Mon. Timmy disappeared because he ran off chasing a mouse, didn't he? So the mouse is the clue, ain't it? It is? King Tom's disappearance is doing mice too? Got it in one. Exactly what it has to do with mice is a whole nother question, though. But I'm sure I've heard someone saying something about mice over in our world. Then we should go back to Ding Dong Dell and investigate. I just know we'll find something. Right. Righto. Ding Dong Dell it is. Alright. Let's uh, go back. Hop on back over. So where does this drop me off at exactly? Because I used it in town. I assume it doesn't take me ex the exact location I used it from. No, it takes me back to the entrance of the town. Okay. Well. I think we're at a good stopping point for this game for today. So let's uh, rest up so we can save. Now we'll just... Yeah, go ahead and rest up. We're damaged, so... There should be a save option after this. Alright. Just had another perfect night's sleep at the cat's cradle. Travel safe to now. Alright. Oh, I can just save from here, apparently. I didn't need to waste that tin guilders. That's good to know. So, we're three hours in. I definitely do intend to continue on this game. 
Uh, like I said earlier, tomorrow when we play, I think we'll do an eight-hour stream. So we'll do four hours of this and then four hour whatever ga other game I'm playing, which currently is Graveyard Keeper. Um, we're not done with today's stream, but I will take a little bit of a break, and we're going to switch over to playing Graveyard Keeper. So thanks, everyone, for watching this, and you're going to leave here. If you're not, then I will see you in a little bit. Bye.